All right, everybody, we are back for episode three. And uh, if I recall, we have finally made it to the lower city. We have. All right. Javier is continuing. Yeah, this is the other bar. Oh yeah, we gotta talk to him first. All right. Gee, we I thought God told you, ja. Oh, I'm Ani just clicking. Unamuri ra, don't eat one more chicken. Okay, yeah, we got you. Right. Kimba Tioka Kutumpa Kupelea Two Oh the second Kimba Muri Rabona Ji Kuya Juski Three Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Complaining, you can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So, unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Say, I don't 
don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs, I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Callow Nord. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the Lower City. The Black Bulkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Thek. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor, Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a hidden bag. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Kalonord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalo's been hired by Davit to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. So it looks like uh, I'm going to have to join a criminal organization if I want to get off this rock. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Chi <laughs> Ah, this you bunko cookie bag packer. 
Tin para chisca mule, tu na 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 nu prata, tu ngo si cha tu ma wamama tus ke ba toma. Shagji kina lorcha watamwana, kin kun shi shi kin ni kin kun ban mula rag ji kun wama kun best chi we team and bon rang thong. Muli ra on shantoring um ni patoka wanga chanzi te. Na potata tuanga chun tize igrutu. We team and bon rang thong. Muli ra on shantoring um ni patoka wanga chun zite. Shagji kina lorcha watamwana ki ucha hatunga ya fulki moka hatang ya fulki takum jus tak miki grabul moko kachichu jiji hakuji lorcha kintu na witi mambo rang tong muli ra on shagturing um ni pat. Kipuna, ona na kaji chun, rundi hau tunga tung kimba nang kung kik. Harish mana harish, tung jone ya hakono. Mule ra yonu na ze. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. Unira na no prata tungo, sercha toma toma. Tala ripa mulje kumana, kin kon shashi kin, ne kin kon yoga mulera. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime. Taji chunai thao tunga, tau kum justak mi ke grabi moga, torpa da. Labuda na wengi smatona, yinki slimo podo na mulera chikun. Noda yonde hatunga kumkabi. Chibedo na ni bobo, tunga bung shanun. Huh? What? Oh, 
sir. I don't normally go for these. You're here about that? I guess Zax must have. I can't let her get away with what she did. Then because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know, she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. Do that if you want, but I doubt she's got 200 credits. That's a fine by me. You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a vault? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadden. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the hidden back's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulcan gang war, Gadden has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Well. We do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Becks are watching you. Mm. What if I'm gonna run around and act like a crazy person, strip all my clothes off and be like, ah! Can't do that? Okay. Well, right, yeah. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zandra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my- Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zandra? Like the Valkyrs do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on- You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Vulcans began this war again, the problems with the Sith haven't helped. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Yeah, I do. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcans stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcans found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery. But the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. 
But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila, then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. I might be able to help you with this, if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll... But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. Getting into the Vulker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcar base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city card, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I suggest you hurry. Ah. So we got that. Got that. What we need to do... You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut?
Onda dijo tonga kun honkami. Onda kun bez ching balamule. Kun king ba nunotek. Tuk nincha tukun ne mule rabes. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tuni pudu. Rana nu prata dunk no sercha. Kichu a penki. Wata na wa ma mule ra. Kichun ju pa shak. No wa bule mule ra ji. Juni tun turji chiwi ita do. Bola una dicek. Bala mure slimo wanga kun bisching. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Alright, well. Hey. Apartments. Alright. Chiwi Aita Katong Chicha. Agi Inko Tune Chula Muri Ra. Tongi Kwama Chikona. Tongi Kipa Nongku Nek Abog. Gio Kaku! Kimba Muli Ra Dwana Ji! Kuyami Juski Chika Nai! Uba Baska Dwana Chichoka Muska! Piska da Soki Kupa Bona Na Chaju! Here's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Just Kronki to Pets Nemo! Chi Ita Kanki Chana Kilikon! Kimba Muli Ra Dwana Ji! Kimba Noku Nixet Abog! That's the plan.
Ready. On what? It. It's open. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the... No, I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. I get to ask the question. You're a fool if you think... Now you'll see why I'm the most... Yes?
Yes? No. Alright, let's see here. Let's just finish out this lower level. If I can just find that data pad that I just picked up.
Ready. On it. What? It's open. Kipuna. Gava. What a woman. We eat and not done it. We eat and not done it. Justak, mana mana, what a woman mul. Yes, what's on your mind? Oh yeah, remember? Uh, you said that I could bring this up later? Yeah, you said that I could, that we could talk about this. I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Oh, well, it was an interro- no, I was just joking. Though, you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather- Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over- Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. I'm just trying to figure it. We lost the ship and a lot of good. We didn't choose that battle. Come to think of it, it's more than a little. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who was a last. You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems I'm probably wrong. And this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value ever, and I hate surprises. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be- Look, it has nothing to do with you. And no, I'm not going to discuss it. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tent. We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. All right. We're going to save it here. Everybody enjoyed it. You guys have a good one.